Okay, welcome back here for this is the second video that I've done today for uh, week three, lesson three, analog to digital. So this is my second video. So at the moment in our digital time and in our analog time, we're using 12 hour time to tell the time. So we need to uh, use AM or PM to help um, understand that uh, whether it's 10 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the evening. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video and find out what AM and PM stand for. Okay. So you should have found that AM stands for anti-meridium and PM stands for post meridian. And you may have well read that the, these words come from Latin, which is an ancient language which we don't uh, tend to sort of use very much. But a lot of words that we have in our language have their derivative in Latin. So it, people still do learn Latin. Um, so it helps them to understand other, other languages. Okay, so anti means before. Okay, and then meridian means midday, right, and post means after, and meridian still means midday, okay. So there's our AM and PM, all right. So what I've done is listed the how the digital clock works in 12 hour time, okay, so we can see here that we've got starting, it's really well written, starting midnight, okay, so this is one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, all we'll keep going up, okay, until we get to 12 o'clock, which is midday, right, and this is where it comes a bit tricky for people to know whether to use AM or PM, okay, if they're talking about midnight or midday, all right, but literally this one is AM and this one is PM, okay? So the AM goes all the way up to exactly 11.59, okay? And the PM goes, well, I've carried on a, a different whiteboard goes all the way up into 11.59 p.m. and then it would go back to a.m. So a lot of people to avoid confusion um, between 12 o'clock in a sense, midnight and 12 o'clock in midday, will use the words midnight midday okay but if you want to understand whether it's a.m or p.m uh, midnight is a.m and midday is p.m okay okay so i don't think we're gonna have um too much of a problem today until we get to question number four okay um some of you will just be able to whiz through it that's brilliant others of you uh are going to need a little bit of support so I'm going to model this one for you okay so we're going to start by reading the question Esther leaves her house at this time and the time is shown on the clock and we know it's in the afternoon it takes her one hour and 45 minutes to get to her friend's house write the time she arrives in 12 hour digital format Okay. Now the first thing you would benefit this is to convert the analog time to digital time. So we need to work out what this 
clock shows. Okay, so it the minute hand the minute hand has come round, okay, and it must be exact and to the minute literally. Okay, so we know that it's gone 5, 10, 15, and then 16, 17. All right, so if I do that, I can write 7. In fact, I'm going to do it like that because I'm going to write it next week so you don't get confused. Okay, so it's 17 minutes. And now we need to think about the hour, all right, and the hour hand has just gone past the two. So it's 2.17 and we know that's in the afternoon p.m., okay? So we know that we need to add one hour and 45 minutes to this time. So to do this, I'm going to use a number line and I'll explain to you uh, why we have to do it that way in a minute, okay? So I know that I'm starting at 2.17 and I know I need to add one hour 45 minutes, okay? So I'm going to start by doing a jump where I add one hour. Okay, so hopefully you should see that that gets us to 317. Right, and then I'm going to do a jump where I add 40 minutes. Okay, so my minutes in the tens is increasing by the four digit, so that will give me three. Seven, okay, and then lastly, I've got to add five minutes. Okay, but this is where you need to be careful with because we're working in time, right? So three fifty-seven. We know that there are sixty minutes in an hour. So if I add three minutes to this time, that will actually get me to four o'clock right and then I've just got two more minutes to add okay so what we end up with is 402 p.m. all right so think about how we got there okay so now we know our answer Let's have a look at why we can't use column addition to help us, all right? So we knew that we were starting at 2.17 p.m. and we needed to add 1 hour 45, okay? Right, so this is why column addition won't work. So 7 and 5 is 12, so I put the 2 down and exchange the 1 10. Here now in the tens, I've got 141. One. So 1 add 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Okay, and then my decimal point, and 3 and 2 is. So we've got 2 add 1 is 3. Um, so we can't do it because in time we would not have, this would be. 3362 on the digital clock and we don't because there are 60 minutes in an hour we would never have a digital clock showing a 6 or 60 okay or any any number above above 60 because when you get to 59 the next minute on gives us an additional hour okay so that's why column addition won't work. Okay, so number five should be fine. Um, just think. And so the next one we're going to have a quick look at is number six. All right, so we're going to start by reading the question. All right, 
one is getting the bus into town. Buses start running at 6.30 a.m. They arrive every 22 minutes. Juan is ready to leave at the time shown on the clock. When will the next bus arrive? And this looks a really horrible question, okay? But the first thing we're going to do is work out the time on the clock. Okay, so the minute hand has come round and is pointing up exactly on the two. So that would be 10 past. So in our minutes we have 10. Okay, and in our hours it's just been 9 o'clock. Right, so we're looking 9, 10 a.m. Okay, so we could literally go on a number line, okay, and keep doing steps of 22 minutes, okay, until we eventually got to when Juan is ready to catch the bus, which is 10 past 9, 9, 10 a.m. But that's going to take a lot of time, a lot of steps, and we're probably going to make a mistake because we're just doing so many calculations to get there. So I'm going to show you how you can make it easier to calculate. Okay, so we know that one bus takes 22 minutes, and when two buses have been, that will mean that we're 44 minutes and three buses it will be one hour and six minutes later um one hour and six minutes is still about so if i add that's would be seven seven thirty six and i need to be much closer to ten past nine or nine ten so what i'm actually going to do is i'm now going to test and double this because six buses then if six buses have been it would be two hours and 12 minutes later so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my two hours 12 minutes now that's after six buses have gone okay so two hours and 12 minutes right so that would get me to 8 30 add the 12 minutes would get me to 8 42 and remember i'm not actually trying to get to 10 past 9 what i'm trying to do is juan is ready to at the bus stop at 9 10 or 10 past 9 so what will the time of the bus be that he can catch and I'm going to leave you to work out by going on in 22 minutes what time that bus will be okay all right have fun and the video ends